Well, here's what we're going to make today. These beautiful cheese and onion bake. Or you can call them cheese and onion pasties if you like. So, let's get cooking. Right, good afternoon. Welcome to my channel. Um, today we're going to make something very quick and very tasty a great lunchtime snack with a with a salad or you can have it with some steamed vegetables as a dinner it's um, a vegetarian meal it is cheese and onion bake or cheese and onion pasties and we're going to start by mashing 200 grams of potato I'll come back once I've done that. Right, there we are, all nicely mashed. Now we're going to add one teaspoon of smoked paprika to this. We're also going to add to this a teaspoon of hot English mustard. Also a good grind of black pepper and about half a teaspoon salt. So firstly we're going to add our onion, this is half an onion chopped very finely. And we'll just combine that and then I'll grate some cheese, about 100 grams of cheddar cheese to pop in there. Right, we're now going to measure out a grated cheese. Actually, that's about 80 grams there. So I'm now going to add it to my potato. So in we go. And I'll combine that and then come back. Right, that is just beautiful. I've had a taste. And it's right on point. So I've got my pastry here. It's not quite frosted yet. So we'll give it another half an hour and then we'll come back. Right, so now we're going to fill the pastry with the mixture. So I'm going to cut the mixture into quarters in the bowl so that I get approximately the right amount so I want a little little sort of rectangle here there we are yum yum now we've got our almond, unsweetened almond milk. We're just going to brush along the edges. These are the edges that are going to seal up. Since I can't do a seal impression, I won't, I won't stoop to that. Okay, so now let's fold it. and then just press it down on those edges it's very forgiving this so what you can do now is what I'm doing which is to um, use the fork to crimp this it gives you a good seal but also makes a nice pattern so that one is ready to go onto our baking sheet on our baking tray which I'll show you once I've done all four also at this stage 
you should preheat your oven to 180 degrees. And there you go, there's all four of them done. I'm just going to brush them now all over. This will give them a nice golden brown shiny look and it'll also help to seal them too. Now we're going to put them in the oven 180 degrees and they should only take about 30 minutes. So we'll have a look at them at 30 minutes. If they're not quite brown enough we might give them another five but um, I'm picking that 30 will be just fine. Right, let's get these in the oven. Well, look at that. Those have just come out the oven after exactly 33 minutes. So they puffed up quite a bit too. I'm really, really pleased with those. None of them have stuck. The parchment paper has done its, done its job. I'm going to leave those for about 10 minutes and then we'll have a taste, eh? Right, let's give this thing a taste. Oh. Pastry. So light and fluffy. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It's well, this is... <laughs> Definitely going to be messy. Right, let's have a taste. Oh my lord. Oh, that's heaven. Absolute heaven. Well, thank you very much for staying the distance. If you watching me taste this. I really do appreciate it and I will catch you on the next recipe. Take care.